Okay, this plugin is called Component Stringer. And so what it does is it takes a single component instance and essentially strings it along a series of connected edges, uh, like this arc, for example. Now the edges cannot form a closed loop, or else the plugin that won't work. So to use the plugin, you select your edges and then you select the component. Go to Plugins, Chris Fulmer Tools, and look for Component Stringer. It asks if you want to reverse the edges. Um, we'll just click no and I'll explain that one in a second. Okay, and then for scaling, we'll go with all the default settings. Just click OK and you can see what that does. It's taken this chain link and now copied it along this series of edges. So you have this nice um, chain in here. And it's, if you can tell, it took that chain and scaled it smaller so that it fit nicely along those edges so that each chain lined up perfectly with each other. Okay, so let's look at that again. Um, we'll select this. Okay, then we go to plugins and we'll run component stringer. Okay, reverse edges. So is what that does is when it's applying the component, it's starting on the, at the start and moving this way through the edges and going to towards the end. If for some reason you need to do it the other direction, you could reverse the edges, click yes, and then that would start at this side and move this direction. But we're okay with this, so we'll go ahead and click no. So uniform scaling. You also have the option to do stretch scaling. So instead of you know scaling everything uniformly, it would just stretch your component out as needed to fill in the, the space or it would shrink it down, it would squish it a little bit if it needed. You can also choose none if you don't want there to be any scaling applied to your component. Okay, so compo component rotation degrees. This is really useful for things like chains. We can just type in 90 degrees, so each component will be rotated 90 degrees from the previous component. So we click OK, and now let's look at this. There we have it. So that's much more like a chain effect. So the way you can edit this now to become a chain is um, we'll edit one component. Now each of these are all instances of the same component, so when I edit one it's going to edit all of them. So let's come into this one. and I'm going to turn on Hidden Geometry and I just select this side of the chain and I'm just going to move it this way just a little bit. Come over, select this side of the chain, move that just a little bit. There we go, and come out, and turn off Hidden Geometry, and you can see now that's a very nice um, interlinking chain. And the other option, if we select this, Component Stringer, we have um, Total Rotation. So I, I can still do Component Rotation if I want, but let's say that I know I just want my component to be rotated in a total of 360 degrees over the course of the entire of all of the edges. I can just type that in here. In fact, I'll do 720. So this will rotate the component 720 degrees total over the entire um, edge. Click OK. There we go. That shows it does, that this component does an entire loop. Right about there, it's finished 360 degree rotation, and then it finishes the other 360 degrees until it comes back here and has done an entire 720 degree rotation. Um, let's see, so those are the main things. Um, let's see. We can also, I'll also show, let's say I just have a little a little component like this. And I want to apply it over this entire edge. Select that. Component stringer, no. Okay, and I'll go scaling. I will go no scaling. And then just click OK. And so now this time is what you can see happens is it doesn't scale the component at all. It just places it at each edge. And then notice how it's lined it up. That's based on the component's axes inside. Oops, there we go. The blue axis is the one that points this way on the edge. And that's how you can tell. So, so to get things to line up nicely, you'll need to come in, you'll often need to come in and set the component axis within the component. Um, so anyhow, that's sort of a basic intro, and I, I hope this script is helpful. Thanks.